okay y'all I'm done and I feel like I have a helmet on my head <laughs> what I have to say is that this process definitely defines the curls like crazy um, my hair has a bunch of body is just crazy 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 big um, I still have residue as you can see but it is drying so I will come back when I've decided how I'm gonna style this but yeah the curls wow it really 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 does uh, define the curls well hair is very bouncy and springy and um, yeah very big so uh, I'll come back when this is all dry and show you guys what I've decided to do. Hey y'all, okay, it's the next day. So I woke up this morning and thought, wow, how appropriate. It's NFL Sunday and I've got my own helmet. Um, my hair was compact, it was hard, it was all shrunken. So I literally had to take my fingers and pick apart the coils. It's very, very curly, very, very shrunken and very, very crunchy. As it dried, it continued, you know, to get more crunchy, which, you know, when you use gel, what do you expect? Would I do this again? I mean, I guess I would. I have to get used to the shrunken look. I'm so used to wearing stretch style, so you know how you have to get used to seeing your hair a certain way. Um, I'm not a fan of how it feels, but I'm still glad I put oil underneath the gel because it probably would have been a lot crunchier. Um, but, yeah, I give it a six and a half maybe a seven if I look at it the right way out of ten <laughs> I'll turn around so you guys can see the back I got a little lazy in the back so you can see that I don't have as many curls because I was using bigger sections so yeah but I did better this time than I did with the kinky curly the kinky curly to me this is way better than the kinky curly curling custard application number one is cheaper number two I didn't have all that white sticky residue and number three my hair dried faster oh and four it's way cheaper and I used way less gel than I used the kinky curly so I'm definitely sold on this when it if you compare the two yeah not even a contest as far as I'm concerned I did have a little bit of residue in the front but I just sprayed it with water before I pinned it back. I had to do something with the front because it this style just had no shape. And like I said, I woke up like wearing a helmet and I was looking crazy this morning. So I've been just basically trying to pick it out and throw it out a little bit more. Um, and I think it looked better once I started picking it out. So if you do the style, be prepared for major, major, major shrinkage. Understand that these products are not going to make your hair curl if your hair does not curl naturally. Even though my hair is very um, cottony and, and very frizzy when it dries, it's very curly when it's wet. So these products basically just enhance what your hair naturally does. A lot of people ask me, you know, how do you get your twist outs to be so curly on the end? Or how do your rod sets last so long? And part of that is my hair texture is curly anyway. So basically when you do something like this, it's just going to define what your hair does naturally. So don't buy products expecting to get curls if you don't have curls. If your hair is zigzag, you're going to have defined zigzags. If your hair is straight, you're going to have crunchy straight hair. You know, so I think that's important to note because I know when I was transitioning, I used to think that I could just buy products that somebody else used and get the same results. But you, but you're only going to get what your hair does in its natural state. So this is just basically a magnified version of my hair in a natural state or a frozen version of my hair <laughs> in a natural state. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'll um, put pictures at the end so you guys can see closer shots. Thanks for watching. Bye. <music>